Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to walk you through Azure Databricks Unity Catalog. We're going to understand what is Unity Catalog and some of the key features. So let's get started. Azure Databricks Unity Catalog is a unified governance solution for managing all your data and AI assets in Databricks. It simplifies and centralizes data governance and security across your Azure Databricks environment, ensuring constant data access policies and compliance. Without Unity Catalog, Databricks Workspaces relies on the traditional method for data governance and security, potentially leading to inconsistent data access policies across different workspaces. This setup can complicate data management and permissions, making it even harder to ensure compliance and unified data governance. Let's talk about some of the key features. Unity Catalog offers a single place to manage data access policies that applies across all your Databricks workspaces. The Catalog security model is based on the standard ANSI SQL, and it allows administrators to grant permissions in their existing data lake using formula syntax at the level of catalogs, schema, tables, and view. Unity Catalog automatically captures user-level audit logs that record access to your data. And of course, it captures lineage data that tracks how data access are created and used across all languages. Let's talk about Unity Catalog object model. In Unity Catalog, all metadata is registered in a metastore. The hierarchy of database objects in any Unity Catalog metastore is divided into three levels, represented as catalog dot schema dot table dot v and so on so we can see this diagram we have the meta store and then we have the catalog and then we have the schema and then we're going to have either table view volume model and function let's talk about object hierarchy in the meta store in unity catalog meta store the three level database object hierarchy consists of catalogs that contains schema which in turn contain data ai objects like tables and view so let's go to the demo part. So we'll see how we can create Unity Catalog in our Azure Databricks. How we can create a schema table, import the data into the table, and then perform some querying using the notebook. Let's get started. I'm going to come to my Azure portal, and I'm going to click on this Databricks demo. So when I click on the launch workspace, I'm going to land in this Microsoft Azure Databricks environment. So on the left-hand panel, we can click on this new to create new notebook, git folder, data, compute, cluster, SQL, and so on. And then we can access whatever thing we have in the workspace, like the notebook. We can also access the compute, where we create our cluster, and then we can access the catalog, and so on. So in the compute, I've got two cluster created. It's so is to create one now we can create a all-purpose compute or job compute specific or sql warehouses or pool now i'm going to focus on all-purpose compute and of course i've got this abiola cluster created so to create one just click on this create compute and then we can specify the name for the cluster we can provide the policy whether i want to use the multiple or single node depending on the workload and then we can specify the access mode and then for the performance, we can specify the Databricks runtime version, and then we can also specify work type, and then we can choose number of workers, the maximum and the minimum. And at the bottom here, there's an option to terminate after a specific minute of inactivity. So this is really important in order not to incur additional cost. And on the right hand side here, we can see the summary. So we're going to basically say we have the number of two workers, and then we have the unit catalog badge, the pontoon, and then we have all these details, which is fine. Once you've done that, go ahead and click on Create Compute. So as soon as you click on the, it on the Create, we're going to come back here. I'm going to see the cluster running. So in this case, I've got two clusters. I'm going to actually close this or kill this one. I'm going to click on this, Stop, and then go ahead and click on that. So I'm going to basically focus on the Abiola cluster. Now I'm going to come to the catalog. Now in the catalog, we're going to have this default I've met a store, sample, and system. So we want to create our own catalog. So there's an option to click on this nail, the plus, and then choose add a catalog. And then we can specify the name for the catalog. We want to call this one data analysis. And then I can provide the type. It's going to be standard. And then we can provide the storage location. This is going to be inside my Databricks demo. And then we have the Azure Blob file system path here and then click on create so okay this is not acceptable let me just put in iphone and then click on create okay so catalog created 
So we can go ahead and specify the configuration setting. Click on this configure catalog. And then we're going to send it straight into the, the workspaces that should or that we have access to this catalog and the permissions and then the metadata. So this is going to be used by all the workspaces in my Databricks. So I can go ahead and click on the next. And then I'm going to see the name of the owner. So this is fine. Go ahead and click on next. And then for the metadata, this is fine. Just go ahead and click on save. So successful, your catalog data analysis has been updated. Super cool. And we're going to see that here. All right. So I'm going to click on that. So when I click on that, I'm going to see the automatic default and then we have the information schema. So when I click on that, I'm going to see information such as the catalog privileges, catalog tags, catalog checks, constraints, and so many other things under the overview. Brilliant. Now, within the catalog, we want to create what's called a schema. So there's an option here to click or create a schema. Or well, let me just go back to this and then go ahead and click on create schema. And I'm going to call this one sales transaction. And then we can specify the storage location, the same Databricks underscore demo, and then click on create. Okay, so we have the sales underscore transaction schema, and then we can create our table. So again, click on this, and then we can create a table. So in the table, I'm going to come to this, my Excel file. I've got this CSD data. So I want to actually import this data into that schema. So I'm going to come back, click on this browse, and I'm going to double click on the sales 2023, and this is going to be automatically picked up. So this is going to be sales 2023.csv files. And I'm going to say the content of the data and go ahead and click at the bottom here, click on the create table. And then in one minute or two minutes, our table sales underscore 2023 is ready. Brilliant. So I'm going to see under the catalog explorer, we have the name of the catalog and then the name of the schema. And then in the schema, we have this table. And then we can see the overview, such as the column, the types. So when I click on the sample data, I'm going to see all the content in that sales underscore 2023 CSV file. We have all the columns, year, region, to the sales. I can click on the details. When I click on, I'm going to see we have the type, which is managed table, and then we have the storage location, and then we have the properties, and so many other information. I can come back here, and I can go back. Let me just refresh. So we're going to see we have the name of the catalog, and then we have the schema, and then within the schema, we have the sales underscore 2023. So we want to see how we can query this data in the Databricks notebook. Come to this new and then create a new notebook. And of course, this notebook is actually going to be using that cluster. So it is really important you check that the cluster is up and running, and they're going to see this little icon here, which is super cool. I'm going to come into the cell and use the C code. So let me use the SQL language and we can go ahead and specify our select statement. I'm going to type in select star from and I'm going to provide the name of the catalog, which in this case is data analysis. And then I'm going to provide the name of the schema, which is sales transaction. And then I can provide the name of the table. Now, the intelligence is actually working fine, which is what I love about the Databricks. I'm going to press the tab key and I can go ahead and press control enter. To run again you must ensure that your cluster is running and there we go so we're able to query the data from the catalog which is super cool so this is how we can create unit catalog in the databricks workspace and how we can also create the schema the table and perform a simple query i trust you enjoyed this video if you do like share with your friends and follow me for more videos thank you for watching bye for now